a good afternoon YouTube. So the next thing I have to do on my battery holders is I need to make some more of the bus wires that run up these channels. So I need a wire that goes up there to the middle like that. And then I have one that comes in from the other side, but I have to put a half circle kind of bend in there. Here's a finished one. I need a screw in the middle and I have to have the one side go up and over and then this side come down and below to leave an opening in the middle for the screw and then there's a terminal on the bottom and a washer on the top and a little square nut in the back and that clamps everything together and connects this interconnecting terminal here so that I can connect to the next battery pack in series and then I also get my balance connections off here on the side. I would showed you this a while back. This is my little bending jig. Before I used to have this loose and it was really hard to use. It was hard to keep the wire in place. So what I did was I took a little piece of sheet metal here. There's a washer underneath here and then I used some pop rivets to fasten the sheet metal down and then I just tack welded it onto my quarter inch bolt there and now I can just shove the wire through until it pops out the other side there and then you drop it in the vise, give it a half turn and then you you can twist the wire and pull it pull it out the rest of the way. Let's bend one more the forming jig here, shove the wire through and there's my other bent piece. Give it a twist and you can pull it out. Like I said, this wire has to go through the channel. The problem is that's too big to go in that little hole. And the other problem is, so if I put these together, you can see how the ends are going to overlap. And I need this to sit flat. And I finally figured out a pretty repeatable way to do that. So if you look here, if you were to put it like that and come across here, that's about a 3 o'clock. So if you come up here to about, oh, 1.30 or so, so you're just taking off a little bit off the end and then do that on the other one. So you come over here, that's about 3 o'clock, come up here to about, oh, 1.30 maybe. Now when we put them together, we can get the loop in the middle. It should also fit down here. So you can see there, the wire fits. Kind of a tight fit, but that's kind of what you want. You want as much of a loop in there as you can get. So that's kind of your clue, is if that slides in there, it's about the right size. And then you have those two wires in there. So you need to have your bus wires in here the terminal in here, this thing cut off, and the ends with some terminals on them so that this is physically ready to go when you put the batteries in because the next step is I'm taking my tabbed cells and putting them in here and then I need to put the spacers in. So actually, actually the sequence will be I need to finish this one, the positive, get the screw in there, terminal and the screw, get that screw cut off, get the ends insulated with some connectors, and then attach the three spacers here, set this one down, and then I've got my tabbed cells that are in the negative holder, and I've got to move those cells here, so all ten pair get put into this holder, then this one is ready, I put that on top, screw them together, and now I just have to do the wiring. So that's the, the key part I'm learning on these cell holders is you need to do things in a particular order. For instance, if you don't have this ready to go before you put the cells in, you've got to take the cells out to be able to put these wires in. And the whole idea is you want to minimize the number of transfers of those cells because I've got four boxes of cells, that's 200 pair. And if I take just 10 seconds 
to move cells from this holder to another holder and then back, 10 times 200 is over half an hour of time that I'm going to spend just moving cells from one holder to another. So it's really important to plan it out so that off the 3D printer, cleaned up, painted, and then insert your bus wires and get them all ready to go like that one. So this one is completely ready to go. This one isn't quite ready to go yet. So you need to have enough of these to do as many series packs as you're going to make. And then that way as you tab the cells you can put them in one side and then put the other side on and you've just saved yourself having to handle the batteries multiple times. So let's go take a look at uh, putting the terminals in here. I'll show you that step here in a bit.